and uh, today we were just going to make a video about real estate mm. uh, talking about how to beat the price yeah. and uh, from the Facebook I got a very sad news that is the greatest violin making master Monasi passed away okay so who is Monasi anyone who is in the violin business regardless of your player or your maker you all know his name he is a living Stradivarius today to me regardless of his workmanship uh, when I was in Japan and uh, I have seen so many of his violins because Japanese people are so crazy to process to having one of his violins uh, the workmanship is really really beautiful absolutely and he is leading the tendency leading the school of the Cremona school today but for me it's more important is his personality or should I say the quality of his life he is such a big master at the same time he's so humble so how can I put it you know when you go see Monasi you think you're going to see a god or something you know mm. but when you see him he's like a father you just turn to be he's so friendly he was so nice he actually answer your questions I went there with one of my violin and he looked at my violin he was amazed he said oh you have a good hand then I started asking him questions because people are always nervous you know see such a big master mm -hmm. so he actually taught me he actually teach me and this is uh, you can do this way you can do this way or I would do this way he actually put hands on his violin and showed to me that was 22 years ago I have the photo together now today I put uh, this uh, in memory of this master on the Facebook you can see 22 years ago uh, very close to my birthday actually uh, I went to see him so uh, those things just uh, remind me a lot of uh, memory come back before I say that uh, why I brought Mercedes to sit here is not only because uh, she is my YouTube channel partner but also because she is also a violinist she loves the violin very much she plays violin and when she was young and uh, then she, can you tell me a little bit about your violin <coughs> uh, history and you learn the violin and you teach at a school things like that yeah yeah well I begged my parents from the time I was four for a violin when I first saw Itzhak Perlman on Sesame Street <laughs> and and then my great aunt passed away and she left me her violin and we had it restored and I started playing. And um, then I, that was what my goal was, uh, fell out of that uh, at 16, but I was accepted at Berkeley Music College. I couldn't go, couldn't afford it. So moved on to other things, uh, among them writing, journalism. And uh, then I was brought back into it. No matter where I went in the world, I always took my violin with me. Um, it had a broken neck when I moved to one country and I couldn't do anything about it. When I moved to Malaysia and started working at the international school, they found out that I played because I did some cover work for a music class and I could actually teach the class instead of just babysitting. And from there, I started um, helping them out with their string orchestra and their performances and, uh, you know, teaching the children. And actually, that's kind of a way I met Daniel, not through the school, but because I was encouraged. Cut. We saved that part of story yeah. in another video, how we met, because so many people are so curious, and it's not uh, suitable to talk in this video, because yeah. this video I want to specifically dedicate to the Great Master. Well, okay. Just cut, cut it. Cut it. Okay. Um, 
So today, uh, it just uh, brought me a lot of memories back. Mm. I just borrowed this opportunity to share with my viewers. Of course, Mercedes edited my book. Uh, she knows most of part of it. Uh, it's so sad that uh, when I finish my CD, I would like to present my CD to my teachers mm. because I want them to be proud of me. They say, oh, now look, my student. This is my student. He plays the beautiful now. He is uh, one of the members uh, of the Hollywood Star Group. And now he makes a CD. But uh, sadly, I had very few teachers who taught me I can present my CD because they all passed away or passed away. It's like I have no one really to share the, uh, the joy, the, uh, the success, or what I, can, what, what I would say, all this year's hard work. Because they knew when I was young, when I was playing out of tune, until the day I can present the CD, beautiful music. All of them have part of it. I start with my very, very first teacher, Teacher Lee. But Teacher Lee was a priest, uh, a son of a priest, actually, in a church, in Chinese church, during the Cultural Revolution. It's in the book. That's in the book, okay? You have to buy my book to, 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 to know this part of the story. During the Cultural Revolution, actually, everything related to the West are supposed to be bad. And of course, include the violin. And Mr. Lee actually taught me the very first from zero. And uh, by Hohmann, Hohmann is a, a music uh, method. Uh, it's uh, all these Western songs, uh, Home, Home, Sweet Home, Aida, Carmen, all these uh, folk songs, or all the European songs, uh, they put together. So not only playing violin, I learned a lot of Western culture at the same time. So I cannot say Mr. Lee really built me very solid foundation of my technique, but Mr. Lee taught me love music. Even today, the love of music is from my teacher Lee. He passed away. My second teacher was from the Beijing Opera in Hunan, um, the place I lived. And he actually brought me from an amateur violinist to a professional violinist. He got me a job and he passed away. After that, I took his position, concert master of the opera, also playing on the violin he played. My third teacher is from the best teacher from Hunan is a female teacher, Mr. Go. Ah, oh, sorry, teacher Go. Teacher Go actually is the one built up most foundation, technique foundation, foundation, technique foundation uh, of violin playing. So he, sorry, uh, my, my English is, 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 is getting, Don't worry about yeah, yes, it's, uh, you know, it's just too much. And uh, she, actually introduced me to Shanghai Conservatory of Music and paved the road leading me to a higher level. So she introduced me to a teacher at the Conservatory of Music in Shanghai and that got me into the conservatory and then later make it all possible. I went to overseas, went to Australia, went to Norway. And then in my later uh, days, of course, I had some lessons from uh, Isaac Stern, uh, one of the greatest violinists in the world, and another uh, very good teacher, very good violinist, absolutely, absolute best, uh, Ruggiero Ridge. Mm. How would you say your name? Ruggiero? Ruggiero Ridge. Okay, it's Italian. And uh, of course, there's only short lessons from, mm. from them. Uh, they both passed away. And uh, after so many years, I left the Shanghai Conservatory of Music in uh, 1983, 1993, like 20 years later, actually. I went back to Shanghai and I met a very good friend, 
I made a very good friend. Uh, he is a teacher of Shanghai Conservatory of Music, and actually we are like a kind of soulmate. We understand each other so well. Okay. Teacher Chin also recently passed away, and my old dean Zheng Shishen, I also met in Shanghai Conservatory Conservatory of Music, also passed away. So people just you know it's it's like a, it's like the whole era it's like a whole age just fades away. And for me, is that uh, uh, I really love violin so much, and there's nothing else I would like to do with my life. Only violin. I want to play violin or make violins. Now I make strings. But suddenly, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. See, when I want to play violin, my ex. Smash the violin. Smash not only the violin I play, my amati, my bow. Smash every single violin in my house. And the rest of everything, not one thing left in the house. Everything. And even I can find another violin I would like to play. And my ex uncle broke my hand, broke my hand here, and I cannot move. As as well as I would like to, means I can play violin, but not professional anymore. I cannot play violin. Then I want to make violins or repair the violins. My ex broke, but all the tools are in Shanghai, and I cannot get them back. I cannot repair the violins. Now I want to teach my great master Morasi. He has taught a lot of students. I'm not as good as as him, but I would like to help people in the lower level. But all my books are in Shanghai. I cannot get any books. The only thing left me in the violin business is the strings. It's the strings, the rosin. People cannot take take away from me because that's my technique. That's my know-how. That's my secret. No one can make Daniel strings than I do. So, in the violin business, it seems to be、uh, maybe God is oh you have reached or、oh, you are outmost. Maybe you should do something else. You play violin. You are already member of Hollywood Star Group. You had your honor. You want to make violins. You have made、uh, many good violins、uh, and bows, and you have、uh, a. Uh, partic- participate in the international competition. You got a diploma. You got recon- recognized.、Uh, also, you get a TV show, TV programs. Introduce yourself as a as a good violin maker. Maybe God says,、uh, "You have done enough." Okurosama, uh, okurosama, uh, gokurosama. This is Japanese. We say gokurosama. You are tired now. Maybe you should do something else. So. Now I want to start a new life here,、uh, because of my partner, my channel partner, Mercedes.、Uh, she's come back to states, so we need to make、uh, YouTube videos together. So I think maybe I want to come to the states too. The question is, what I should do with my life, with the rest of my life? I still have some years to go.、Huh? Yep. Yes, Morasi. The monastery passed away, eighty-three. I would like to have a concert with my Kung Fu show at age one hundred. You could do it. Okay, please okay. arrange it for me. Okay. We we make a promise here. We、we'll、make a promise. Okay, we、we'll、make a plan. At one hundred years anniversary, I will play a concert. I. Las Vegas with orchestra, and in the middle of the concert, some people will attack me. Then I will use my martial art to fight them all off the stage, and I will continue play the concert. So basically, you want it kind of like a dulled down version of <clears throat> Beijing Opera. Is that what it's going to be? It's a show. <laughs> it's Las Vegas. Anything is possible. True. True.、Yes. I think we should get Cirque du Soleil. Involved. You can arrange it. If I'm 100 years old, if I can play the concert on my violin, on my bow, 
on my strings use my rosin. At the same time, I can use my martial art, Muay Thai, Wong Chun, any boxing to fight with a couple of bad guys and, of course, the actors or oh, actresses. <laughs> bad guys and kick them out of the stage at 100 years old. I'm sure that lots of people would like to support that. Yeah, maybe we can get Jackie Chan involved. Don't talk my. No, no, no. I don't know him. Okay, don't ever mention him in front of me. I don't know Jackie. Okay, okay. Now get serious. That's sad. I'll have to do something to resolve this between you two. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't bring it back. Don't bring it out. Okay. Anyway, today's video we ended up here. Life always has end. The end is a new start. Anyone, everyone in the world. Please, 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 precious life will live only once. Love yourself. Love the one you love you. Love the one who love you. And uh, love your family. Love your friends. Love the things you do. Enjoy life. I agree. Words of wisdom. Cut. It is, you know, you know, you have to be entertaining. You cannot make all the people sad. But at the same time, you have to to control your emotion, because I have the sadness inside me, but I cannot really bring the sadness out to affect the viewers. Because people come to watch a video, they don't want to, they want to be happy. Yeah. So, so it's like Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin, mm. you have to eat, you have to throw all your business inside and uh, make people laugh. Yeah. That's Robin Williams too. That's what happened with him. Yes. Sad, but yes. always the clown. Yes. But not Jackie. Not Jackie. Not Jackie Chin also. No, not Jack Chan. He's not sad inside? No, no. no. I think he's sad I, I, because of what happened I between you says, two. Don't mention him in front of me. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try not to.